go to tools options and it, click on the main icon and you have the startup option for what you want Firefox to show my home page open on a blank page or show the tabs that you had open last um, once you go to any page that you want whether it's Yahoo MSN or whatever it is your MySpace page once you're at that page open this and go to use current page and it'll always go to that page as your home page when it opens you've got the option to show the downloads window when downloading a file and you can choose to close that window when the downloads are finished or leave it open this gives you the option to where to save your downloads you can browse to any folder my documents and then click on new folder and name it downloads or whatever you want once you're done telling Firefox where you want your downloads saved click OK and it'll save them to that location or you can check this mark and it'll ask you every time you download where you want to save it your system defaults is always check to see if Firefox is the default browser which I keep that checked because I want Firefox as my browser it will click on the tabs icon and this is what happens when you open a new page it will either open in a new window or open in a new tab and I'll show you that in a minute I select a new tab and then if you've got more than one tab open you don't want to close them accidentally you put a check mark in that box to warn you and warn me when opening multiple tabs might slow down the, the Firefox nowadays that's really not an issue unless you're lacking a lot of memory uh, always show the tab bar I don't I don't use that because then it always shows the tab and you've only got one tab open it's kind of redundant but and then when I open an, a link in a new tab switch to it immediately which is what I check because when I open a new link I want it to go to that link you can control the content block pop-up windows load images automatically enable your JavaScript and enable Java load images automatically if you have a um, few sites that you don't want images to show up on you can type them in here and block them and same with pop-ups you can add sites like fox.com I'd like the pop-ups in there otherwise you can't view the videos so I add that then you can remove sites or remove them all later um, you can change the type of font and the size that you're viewing you change this font and you can go to advanced and change the type of font but chances are if you if you get in here there's I don't see a way to restore it to default so write these settings down before you play with this or just leave this checked allow pages to choose their own fonts feeds are certain news broadcast and blogs if you're monitoring certain blogs you can you can go in here and choose the application but I usually turn that off because it bugs me too much privacy this is your history, your remember visited pages. I usually change that only for a couple days. Um, remember when I enter in forms in the search bar. That way if you t previously typed something in the search bar or the address bar and then you go back again, you only type the one letter and it'll bring up everything under that letter that you've typed previously. Kind of makes it nice. And remember what I've downloaded that's in that download window it remembers everything you downloaded previously until you clear it out and you want to accept cookies from sites until they expire that's really good for YouTube and you can accept, add exceptions to block certain sites from their cookies and you have the option to clear your private data when you close Firefox and you click on the settings button and you can choose whether to delete your browsing history, your download history, your saved form information, your cache, your cookies, uh, saved passwords, and authenticated sessions. I usually save my cookies because like YouTube, if they, they give you a cookie and you don't have to keep signing in again. And then of course my saved passwords. And you can click on clear now and then choose what you want to clear. Clear private data and it will clear all what you've got checked. If you check to clear private data when you close Firefox, 
then you want to take the check mark off to ask before it clearing because it'll bug you every time you close it whether you want to do that or not click on your security tab warn me when sites try to install add-ons that's really important and with exceptions you can allow certain sites to install their add-ons um, add-ons are like ActiveX controls that certain sites need in order to function properly if you trust that site then allow it this has got a nice phishing filter in it and it'll tell you if, the, if you're visiting a suspected forgery site if it's not real because it checks the certificates and I use uh, a downloaded list of suspected sites and it refreshes all the time for me under passwords I, I choose to allow it to remember my passwords and of course you can block or remove certain sites in here also and you can also use a master password to protect these the passwords you have up already you can use a master password every time but that is annoying but it's it's a nice feature and you can also choose which warning messages you want to see as far as um, if you're about to view an encrypted page you can let it warn you about that or a view a page that's using low grade encryption when you're leaving an encrypted page for a non encrypting page submit information that's not encrypted you can play with these settings and uh, read up on them more if you like and under advanced you've got accessibility search for text when you start typing as soon as you start typing it'll search for keywords in that page browsing use auto scrolling use smooth scrolling or check my spelling as I type that's a real nice feature if you leave in a comment on YouTube it automatically checks your spelling and then you right click on the it'll read out a word and you right click on that and it'll give you the options to fix your spelling it's kinda nice uh, languages you can choose the different languages you want to use uh, change the language of your browser under the network tab configure how Firefox connects to the network click on settings if you're using Avast antivirus you want to manually set your proxy for 127.0.0.1 under port 12080 that way everything is routed through Firefox and it's also known as localhost if you're not using Firefox then you should be using a direct connection to the internet and if your proxy is checked then you may have a virus click OK when you're done there your cache should be right around 250 megabytes if you're going to YouTube a lot. If you're not using YouTube, then 50 megabytes is, is, will suffice. And you can come in here and clear your cache. Just by clicking clear now, you won't really see anything happen, but it cleared the cache. And that can make a difference if you're, like you uploaded a new video, the icon's not showing up. You come in here and clear the cache, and it'll refresh the next time you go to YouTube. Uh, you got the update button. Um, you can automatically check for updates on your add-ons, search engines, Firefox. I turn those off because they're, they're kind of annoying. You can show your update history. And finally, the encryption tab will let you choose which type of encryption to use. Most of these settings that I'm showing you are all default anyway. But it's good to go in and check to make sure they're, they're set. And there is a couple options that will tweak it out for you. And when a website requires a certificate, select one automatically. And uh, click OK and restart the browser. You got your tool menu at the top. Right click next to that and you can turn the different options off, like bookmarks. I don't use bookmarks. I'll show you that again. So I don't use the bookmarks. So I like to turn that off. Right click and then click on that and you can also right click in there and go to customize and there's your download icon and you can tweak your toolbar how it looks just by dragging these you hold down on your left mouse and drag it up and put it wherever you want it and drop it and you can add new toolbar if you wanted a new toolbar for print or whatever this is a toolbar here this is a toolbar and you can add new ones then click done See now I put that download up here so I can click on that and it opens my download folder. Then I can clean it up and it empties it. You click on this button and it will take you to the download folder. 